Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Monday, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in Celebrity News, y'all. Everybody was talking about Offset and his beautiful... Is she his wife, honey? Yes. Yeah. You know, how wonderful they are back together. What's her name again? Cardi, Cardi B. B. Mm -hmm. Shut her down this weekend, Yeah, too. she did good, honey. Her commercial was cute, too. You know, I, I like Cardi B. But anyway, they're saying that they're back together. But now people are raving, saying that um, Offset may be the father of the year. Because now it's being reported, y'all, that he wants to make sure, y'all, that his kids have the same drip as him. He does. So it's been reported out that he bought his beautiful kids on some new Versace outfits. Now they're saying um, one of his own kids was wearing a thousand dollar um Versace outfit where his son was wearing a eight thousand dollar chain to go with his um um Versace outfit and the daughter was wearing her little Versace outfit and one had Gucci on, honey. So I'm like, Well that's good. So I think the parents should make sure the kids if the parents go wear two and three thousand dollar, eight thousand dollar outfit, the kids should wear it too, don't y'all agree? Well, they Not, grow out yeah, of it so fast. Yeah. I don't know if I would spend that much for them to grow right out of it because those babies grow fast. And they sometimes do. that spit up is hard to clean up. Yeah, and Target has some really good deals um, on, on kids' clothes. I mean, if I, if I could afford $1,000 outfits for my kids to wear daily, I, maybe I would, but I and go they to Target. Can afford it. They can afford they can it, afford so it. that's why they do mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's cute. They want their kids to drip too hard, just like them. <laughs> oh, all right. That's what they said. I didn't want them to drip, child. Well, that's cute. Everybody dripping. Well, congratulations. I wonder what culture going to be wearing it, because these are his other kids. This was a culture. No, she gonna be cute. Culture drips all the time. Oh, she does. Okay, yeah, we hear about her with cute. her very expensive strollers and cars and mm -hmm. little oh. things of that nature. All right, baby, for the drip, honey. <laughs> Congratulations, Offset. You say, oh, you got his post nasal drip. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, that drip in my bed, honey. Baby, drip on, baby, drip, drip, drip. All right, moving on. Another celebrity. I was hoping this story. I'm not gonna say would go away, but would kind of go away, yeah. But we gotta. Beyonce, you know, I haven't talked about Beyonce in a while. <gasps> no, And y'all yeah, know, and it's sad, and I'm feeling bad for Beyonce, because y'all know she's being sued by a blind woman, and that story is not going away. Now, they're saying that Beyonce is being sued by a blind woman who claims, y'all, that the iconic singer's website is not easily accessible to those with disabilities. Stop. Yes. Baby, honey. Stop. Yes, sir. Honey, a civil action suit was filed, honey, on behalf of Ms. Mary Connor of Brooklyn, honey, on, uh, uh, Back January the 3rd, they say, against Beyonce's management company, Parkwood Entertainment. But you can't go to them pages in Braille. Yeah, but she, well, that's what she's supposed to have. Now, they're saying the suit alleged that Beyonce.com violates the Americans with Disability Act because it is not equipped with technology that allows visually impaired individuals to use it independently. Now, they're saying Ms. Connor, who has no vision whatsoever, according to the lawsuit, has been a Beyonce fan for years. Well, she just listen to the music. Yeah, but Ricky, she said she dreams of attending a Beyonce concert and oh. listening to her music in a live standing. Okay, so you're going to get mad and sue her. Yes, sir. No. They say, honey, Miss Connor, honey, is incapable of interacting with the website or purchasing any I'll merchandise from I'll it. Settle because... out, I'll settle out of court and pay her in Monopoly money. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> they say because it allegedly yeah. likes screen reading software which verbalizes information relayed by photos for lying, honey. And Beyonce ought to be ashamed of herself. She should have stuff like that. They say she it, um, web um, accessibility requires um, that alt text be coded with each picture so that a screen reader can speak to alternative text while sighted users see the pictures. Well, can't she not sue her and just let Beyonce's team know that the website is not up to par and they correct it? Like, why is she trying to seek money from this? Yeah, because I don't think Beyonce knows coding. Right. Like, come on, dude. Well, honey, somebody needs to know something. I feel so bad for Miss Con, honey, because I know, honey, how she feel, you know, when you want to um, order some stuff, honey, and be like the rest of the girls, like everybody else, and you can't because they make it un un um, unaccessible for people like us, so... Beyonce, honey, she needs to do something now if she's listening. Help the woman out here. Yeah, well, uh, uh, big big shout out to Mike Epps, man. Uh, we had a great show in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and uh, George Wallace was on the show. He told me to tell everybody, hey, and uh, George Wallace got his new teeth. And, and... <laughs> uh uh, don't do this. <laughs> don't do this. <laughs> Come on, Dave. <laughs> George Waters didn't come in. Ain't nothing to play with. When that dude say George Waters, he look like some blank business card. <laughs> <laughs>
Have you seen Harry's picture? Is it too big? Um, no. Oh. <laughs> but the one before was big too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ricky's so petty. Talking about doing Bob's teeth. Look. Hi, Cora. Hi, Quandria. Hi, Dante. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hi, 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 hi Tony. Hi, Beverly. Hi, Zephora. Hi, Tiffany. Hi, Tamika. Hi, Samuel. Merry Christmas.